Well, good morning, everybody. Got the day off today, so I thought I'd uh, play around with the RB67 and do a little close-up work. I don't normally do that. I rarely photograph flowers. I can't remember if I've ever photographed a flower, ever. But my wife bought some flowering potted plants. Don't ask me what it's called, I have no idea. And uh, I thought, wow, it's kind of neat looking. So maybe I'll photograph it on some medium format film. And of course I can't make up my mind which film. So I'm going to use three. I'm going to shoot some PANF of that film. And some Delta 100 and some Delta 400. I'm also going to uh, shoot through a couple of filters too. I'll probably use my green Marumi MCP01 and I'll probably use my uh, blue number 47. It's a gel filter and I'm probably sitting on it. No. <clears throat> I have a ton of gel filters and that's pretty much all I ever used for years and years and years. It's only until recently I started uh, using glass filters. I realized that we only need a few filters when we're out in the field and we should only employ them if absolutely necessary. So when I'm out in the field, I mean I rarely, I can't even remember the last time I used the blue. Sometimes I use a green, like if I want to lighten foliage or something that's green in the scene. Um, I have a yellow, that's a number equivalent to a number 15, a rat in 15, which I use fairly often if I want to slightly darken blue skies. And then there's my red. It's, this is also a Marumi. It's MCR2. It's equivalent to a, a rat in 25. And I, I use this for dramatic effect. And then the other filter that I use is my 720, but that's for infrared film. I might try the yellow. I, I doubt it. I might use the red. I doubt really mu very much. It's, so it's probably just going to be the green and the blue filter. Now, the reason why I'm saying I probably won't use my yellow or my red is because of the subject matter, the flower. But it is a yellow flower, and the tips of the petals, petals, I should say, not petals, I'm not riding a bike. The tips of the petals are magenta. Now, if I put a yellow filter on, it's going to really lighten the yellow. I don't know if it's going to have much effect on the magenta tips. It might lighten it slightly. And my goal is to have good uh, separation between the petal tips and the yellow. Again, if I put a red filter on, it's probably going to bring the yellow and those, that magenta closer together, minimizing the separation. Um, so green might be a good choice, because just looking through it, I mean, it looks pretty good. Extreme blue. Thing is, with the blue, though, it's going to darken everything. In the end, it just might be unfiltered. The wind's a day. Well, this is a viewing filter. I, I do use it sometimes, and when I look through, it's basically telling me, you don't need a filter, O'Neill. What are you thinking? I think I'm just going to stick a couple filters on just for the hell of it and see how those the three films respond. The Delta 400 might be different because of its extended red sensitivity. So unfiltered, the Delta 400 might lighten the red a little bit too much, bringing the yellow and the red sort of closer together. So I'm all set up. Um, I'm in pretty close. If I look on the scale on the side. Going to be, I'm just going to work at box speed, but I'm going to uh, add one stop for the bellows extension. So 
So I'm just going to change my ISO to 25. Still working on bog speed. And let's take a reading. So a quarter of a second at F. 5.6 and two-thirds, I'll say 5.6 and a half. Now I need to decide, am I going to shoot with my lens at 5.6? I think I'll stop down one, so I'll go to half second to eight and a half. Maybe I'll go to a second to 11 and a half. Um, and I'm going to add maybe a third. I can't really add third stop, so I'll have to add a half stop for uh, reciprocity. What I like about the RB67 is where I can store my dark slide. I can either put it in the back here and slide it in, or I can stick it here. And I like to just keep it in the back. And there's a bee flying around. Actually, it's a wasp. I hope he doesn't land on my flower. Actually, if he lands on my flower, that might be neat. As long as he doesn't land on me. So I'm going to do an exposure without filter. So I'll bring the mirror up. First I'm going to just double check my framing. There's a bit of a breeze, so... When there's a lull in the breeze, I'll go ahead and take the picture. But in the meantime, I'll Put the mirror up and I'll just wait. That looks good. Take the picture. Now I'm going to put a green filter on. I'll have to give two stops more for the filter. But two stops more. So that's two seconds, four seconds. Reciprocity. Pan F. I'm using Ilford's reciprocity compensation. So 1.33. So five seconds. Five second exposure. I'm going to finish up this roll, then I'm going to get on to the Delta 100 and the Delta 400. The next time I see you will be my darker. Oh! And I'm probably going to develop this stuff in Obsidian Aqua. See you guys in there.